you ready to go do a little camping? Alright guys, we're here at the Harker Island Ferry in North Carolina and we are going to take a boat out there to Cape Lookout National Seashore. It's a beautiful uninhabited island, it's a national park and we're going to go and camp, fish and ride ATVs all over the island. It's going to be awesome. This is Shackleford Banks, the first stop on the ferry ride. And apparently there's a lot of wild horses here, but uh, it's not our stop. guys, welcome to Cape Lookout National Seashore. Me and the boys are going to be doing a little bit of camping and they also rent UTVs here. Check this out. Crazy thing about it is it's super cheap. Most places to rent a UTV like that, five, six hundred bucks a day. I think it's like 120 or something like that. It's really affordable compared to most places. This is also supposed to be a really great place to collect shells and uh, check it out. There's all the different shells you can find. Oh ho. -ho. Okay. You can go ahead and load your stuff up. Here you go, Jake. Thanks. Hop on in. Oh, oh yeah. That's diesel, baby. There's the Cape Lookout Lighthouse and the Lightkeeper's house. Yeah, it looks like it's locked. Okay. Oh, I caught a wizard! I caught the wizard! Don't yeah, look at that. Don't go by the tip of your tail because then he'll bite you. Ooh, he's <laughs> on me! A little, little pokey face. Here, you want him on your head? Daddy? Oh. No. <laughs> I don't want them to feel, feel like belly he's, he's on you. I'm getting a little hungry. Let's go find a campsite and then we can go I make lunch. It. You found those already? That's awesome. This is diesel powered beach combing.
think about this spot? Yeah, this looks like a good spot to camp. Nice little flat sheltered spot out of the wind. I think this is our spot. You guys ready for lunch? Yes, sir. This is barbecued chicken. Everyone's hungry, so we're eating an MRE for lunch today. You guys want some crackers and jelly? Yeah. Okay. And there you go. Grape yeah. jelly. Oh, maybe. Okay, who wants the barbecue chicken? Who wants rice? I'm a pizza box. Hey Nathan, do you like the rice? Well, the boys are getting a little antsy and they want to ride around in the UTV a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So, what'd you find? Coconut. You got a coconut. Look at this. What's all this stuff up here? Oh ho! Come on in, boys. Mom's appetite for seashells is insatiable. We must find more shells. Driftwood for a good campfire tonight. I did a fire starter review video a little while ago and I fell in love with these little Zips fire starters. Keep one or two in my bag just in case. things go. You just can't smother them or put them out. Well, it's four o'clock and the sun's starting to get a little bit low. Hopefully the fishing will turn on here a bit. You guys want to try and catch a shark or a stingray tonight? I'm gonna leave those rods up for a little bit and see what happens. Jacob's falling asleep in the UTV. I gotta go wake him up. Nathan's just sitting here chilling and playing in the sand. Blah. Okay, buddy. Here's your cup of noodles. It's really hot. Bud, let's go and eat, eat some of that. Oh. All right, got a little bit of curry and rice. Hey, Jacob, you like your lasagna? Well, the fishing was a bit of a bust, but dinner was a success. The kids are having a good time. They're playing dinosaur attack uh, in and around the UTV right now. So they're happy. What more can we ask for? <laughs> You are so sad. You know I'm gonna have to wash you off. Oh. 
Guys, I got a fish! Here. See if you can reel them in. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's a big angry stingray. What a barb on that thing. I was just complaining how the fishing wasn't doing anything and we got to go, caught a stingray. That means not skunked. You both want marshmallows in your hot chocolate? Yeah. Here it is, it's very hot though, okay? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Jacob, are you having fun? Yeah, I got stinking hot chocolate. And I've got a thermos full of hot chocolate too. So you guys drink as much hot chocolate as you want. Hey Jacob, what happened? Did you try to poop? Yeah. But you got all over? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that happened. Jake's an absolute little champ at potty training, but he tried to go off and poop behind the sand dunes without telling me. He's gotten his pants down and pooped all down the back of his pants. And uh, at any rate, so I just spent the last 30, 40 minutes cleaning poo off of everything. So we're gonna kind of get the kids ready for bed. It's kind of a sign that it's time to get in the tent and wind it down. Well, it's dark, but it's still a couple hours before the boys' bedtime. So uh, we're gonna take it easy and watch some shows on the phone and just kind of hang out a little bit. Bastards. Well, I just found a mosquito that's been feasting. It was a crazy night last night. We had a rainstorm come in around 11 until about 4 a.m. And we had thunder and lightning and 25 mile per hour winds. It was shaking things really aggressively and it just poured. And we got a leak somewhere up in here. One of the first drops went right in my ear. <laughs> woke me up but thankfully it stopped so we don't have to get packed up in the driving rain you guys sleep okay yeah. did you wake up and hear the rainstorm no you guys are out like a light should we have a little hash browns for a little breakfast mre all right we got the heater sleeve this time cracker dehydrated granola with blueberries nice cheese spread dry roasted peanuts a pastry orange drink mix. You just want to play the cracker? The Pop-Tart. I, I hate it when it rains like this right at the end of a camping trip. You have to dry all your gear out really thoroughly before you put it away, otherwise you'll get bad mildew. So everything I'm packing, I'm just gonna take it home and I've gotta unpack it, set it up in my basement and dry it out. Oh, it's such a pain. Oh, you can see how much standing water I had under my mat. Everything's so wet and sandy, I'm just gonna chuck it all into my bag, then pull it out, wash it, and dry it when we get home. Ugh. Oh, wind blew my rods over and got sand in all the reels. That's that's awesome. Oh. This is a really unique and gorgeous place. This island is big and there's so many miles and miles of beaches and trails. We drove 45 minutes that direction and didn't get halfway across the island. Here on the southern part of the island, there's a lot of trucks and campers on the island. 
they get here by a different ferry that goes out of Davis, North Carolina. You get a National Park Service off-road permit and you pay about a hundred bucks for the ferry and you can take your truck over. It's actually a pretty cheap beach vacation. You bring your camper and your family, stay for a few days, not bad at all. people come to this island but because there's just so many miles of beach and because you can camp anywhere it really feels like you're out in the middle of nowhere it's it's really really nice look at this one Here, why don't you come on out? Well, we're back at the docks and we returned the UTV. Now we're just waiting for the first ferry to arrive. Take us back home. Have you guys liked this? Yeah. I can see the ferry. We're just dropping some people off over there at Shackelford Banks. If you want to camp on a remote island with even fewer crowds and you don't want to bother with ATVs, Shackelford Banks is a good place to go. You get in that weather last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun, huh? Dolphin right yeah. out there. Oh, look at that right there. Well, hopefully you guys at home enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it. If you want to see more camping videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to check out our camping and adventure playlist. I'll put a link down in the video description below. I'll also put links to the ferry and the national park and all that stuff so you guys can come here and do this too. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. It's subscribe. Nailed it. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.